Hello creatives, you're welcome to this video tutorial again. This is David Gladness and on this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how you can remove your image backgrounds, making use of six different techniques. Now, one of the frequently asked questions I've been getting very recent is that um, remove.bg is not working. Well, the first thing is that remove.bg has been working for me perfectly. But then, the first time I got this question, I wasn't taking it serious because I felt like maybe it is because of the device the person was using. But then I got the same question from another person that remove.bg isn't working. Then another person, and I noticed that I have been getting these questions frequently that I, I think up to like four people complained in a week. Meanwhile, it is still working perfectly on my home device. But then I felt like, okay, what if I decide to teach you different methods aside using remove.bg to remove your background? And that is just what I'm going to be showing you in this particular video. I'm going to be showing you six different methods by which you can remove your image backgrounds for free. Now, the first method is still the same remove.bg, okay? Now, quickly, let's go to my Chrome browser. I'm going to open my Chrome browser. You can make use of any browser, even if it is not Chrome. You can make use of any browser. Now, the first method I'm going to be showing you is to make use of the website called remove.bg, okay? Just visit remove.bg. Then you click on it and you're going to get um, you're going to get an interface like this. Okay. Now um, this is the remove.bg interface. Now to remove your background, making use of the remove.bg, all you need to do is to click on this place you are saying upload. Click on this place you're saying upload image. And once you click on upload image, it's going to take you to your gallery. You can click on this place you're saying browse. Then once you click on browse, it can redirect you to your gallery. And all you need to do at that point is to select the image you want to remove your background from. So I don't really have images, but let me check. You can just look for any image you feel like you want to remove your background from. Okay. So for the sake of this video, I am going to make use of this particular image. So I'm going to remove the background from this particular image, okay? So let's just wait for it to finish loading. All right, guys. So as you can see, the background has been removed. And now if you if you download this, your image will be saved to your device. Just click on download. Please just click on download. You can't actually download in HD quality in most cases. It will be asking you to sign up and it, will, it might be asking you to input your, um, your card details. But then you can just click on download. Now, one thing I don't really like about remove.bg is that when you download uh, or when you remove your background from the, the website, your image tends to lose, lose its potential quality. It tends to lose its potential quality so i'm going to show you another five different methods excluding this particular first method i have showed you now some people have been complaining that this remove.bg is not working but then as you can see it is working perfectly for me if i want to download this now all i need to do is just click on download and once i click on download it will start downloading to my device now you can see it, it has been downloaded already and the background is no longer there if i should import this to my pixel app or my design app it will no longer be there now another method i'm going to be showing you is making use of a website called erase.bg okay so let me just go to another page erase.bg this is the second method erase.bg sorry okay and as you can see it's loading it's loading let's just wait for it to finish loading so all you need to do is just to tap on this please you are seeing upload image so once you tap on upload image it should take you to your gallery now you can click on browse just like remove.bg just click on browse and once you click on browse go to wh wherever your image is just locate it wherever it is so i think mine was under this face app i use this okay so for the sake of this particular tutorial let me just use the same image okay and once you you select the image you will be able to download this so let's just wait for it you can see that it's showing processing image please wait and as you can see look at this particular one you can even see that the quality is much more higher than the first one the quality is still high so all you need to do now is to just click on download original size okay download original size and wait for it for it to start downloading and as you can see this is our image right here this one is even having a better quality so that is the second method of removing your background for free another method is by making use of adobe express all you need to do is to just type in adobe just search adobe express okay just search adobe express 
and once you search for it you can see right here there is something it, it, once you it, it's going to take you to this part you can see this place you're seeing remove background or you use the second method by searching in, or, or by clicking on adobeexpress.com and from adobeexpress.com it will take you to this part but the fastest way i like to use is search for adobe express then click on um remove background now you can see from here it's asking me to upload my photo so click on upload your photo and once you click on it So all you need to do now is just to click on upload image all right click on upload image and the same process just click on browse or locate that image from your gallery and once you locate it you can now remove the background now one thing i love most about this adobe express and the remove dot um erase dot bg i showed you in the second process is that it's retained it still keeps your image quality it still keeps your image quality it's only remove.bg that doesn't really keep your image quality. Adobe Express and um, Erase.bg keeps your image quality. That is, your image will not appear blue. So let's just wait for this to finish the background. Let's wait for it. As you can see, this one is even having a better quality than that of um, Erase.bg. And all you need to do now is just to click on download. So once you click on download, it can be asking you to sign up. Please just sign up. You don't need to actually do any other thing. I hope you get the point. Now straight to another... Um, another way just visit um i think pixla pixla please follow me carefully pixla.com that is p i x l r.com this is the name of the website pixla.com now this is not just used for removing background alone this particular website is not used for removing your backgrounds alone it's it you can be, you can also use this for ai um ai images and all those ai stuff but then you can use it to remove your backgrounds for free as well so i'm going to be showing you the method i'm going to be showing you another two methods but then let's quickly finish um this particular method making use of pixla okay now all you need to do is just to scroll to where you're going to see remove bg you can see this remove bg a high you, you begin a high auto remover okay so once you once you click on remove um begin ai auto remover it's going to redirect you to this place now scroll down and click on select photos now one thing i truly love about this is that you can actually remove um a lot of pictures background at the same time you don't need to select one then no you can just click on this place you're saying select photos okay then click on your file and locate the image wherever it is in your gallery locate the image wherever it is in your gallery so i'll just go to my face app i'm still using the same picture because we are going to be checking the quality we are going to be checking the quality you can select more than one image at, at, you can actually select more than one image but i just choose to use one image now when we scroll down you can see it's already loading it's already loading now you can actually download the app by clicking on get it on play store you'll be able to download the app to be on your device now you can see all you need to do is just to click on save okay just click on save and your image will be saved to your gallery now another two method i'm going to be showing you um is by using the app called photo room okay you can make use of an app called photo room you can go ahead and download it on your play store i don't know if it is available on the app store but then you can see this is what the app looks like right here this is what the app looks like let me send it to my desktop you can see it right here this is what the app looks like photo room app just click on it and once you click on it all you need to do this as well keeps your image quality it makes it really um great okay i even love to use photo room for mine so once you open your app you're going to get something like this all you need to do just click on this place you're saying um start from photo then click on gallery or you can just scroll to locate it in your gallery you can just scroll but then i'll just click on um gallery i'll click on gallery and then i'll locate that particular same image the same image so i'll just go to my face up then select it so just wait for it to finish loading and as you can see it has removed its background now if you want it to be transparent okay if you want that particular image to be transparent you can click on transparent right here this place you're seeing transparent if you want it to remove the original background and change it to a white color you can click on this place you're seeing white it's going to be having a bag um, a white background if you want it to be having a black background you click on black if you want it transparent you click on transparent and if you want it to still be the original you click on original but then we want it to be transparent so i'll just click on transparent and now there is something i'm going to advise you to do because if you're not having the pro version of this particular app you need 
to um you you can see it's having a photo room watermark right here so the only thing i would advise you to do tap on your image and reduce the background to something like this so that you'll be having enough space you can see this is the photo room watermark you can see that photo room watermark now if you want to design or you want to use your image wherever you want to use it it's no longer going to be having a um, watermark since it is having you have cropped out the watermark you can easily erase it but then if you did not crop it out you it is going to tamper with your image It's going to be having you won't be able to erase it so just tap on your image and pinch in then you click on done and now to save it click on export and once you click on export you can now click on save to gallery now the last method is by using the canva app but then the canva app require you to have a canva pro it requires you to have a canva pro okay so if you need the canva pro there is a link in the description box you can click to it it's going to redirect you to my dm you can reach out to me i'm going to guide you through on how you can actually get the canva pro it is not free but it is almost free All right, guys so as you can see i have um i have my canva pro right here and as you can see now what we need to do in this point you can see this um this particular image i actually removed the background making use of the photo room but then let me show you a way you can remove your image backgrounds so i'm going to locate another image by tapping on plus then i will go to my gallery to import any image i can easily see All right, guys so let's just assume i want to use this particular image to um to design as you can see it is having a background now all you need to do is to locate the particular um click on this place you're seeing fx effects in your own case it could be F, uh, it could be effects just click on effects and then you're going to see bg remover you can see bg remover now all you need to do is just tap on it and once you tap on it automatically it is going to remove the background from it so just wait for it and as you can see we have been able to get rid of the background if you want to get some other part of this image back you can just tap on the bg remover again you can tap on it again you can see we have the restore and we have the erase we have the restore and we have the erase now if you want to re uh, restore a part all you need to do is to tap on it and this is your brush size how big your brush can be and then you can you can restore wherever you want to restore if you want to erase maybe there is a path that wasn't erased properly you can make use of um you can make use of the the like this let's say this place i just restored now wasn't erased properly you can just click on erase and increase your brush size and clean it up yourself so if there is any other part that you feel like you actually want to restore you can zoom in if there is a part you want to erase you can zoom in and erase them properly i hope you have gotten the point so thank you for sticking around with me to the end of this video tutorial please if it has been helpful and you have learned something do well to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and i would like to know if this video was truly helpful in the comment section below see you on the next one